Have you heard this lately? The cost of building software is going way down thanks to AI. Yeah. But get this while that's happening. Okay. The skill of deciding what to build is becoming even more valuable. It is, yeah. So we're going to explore a specific job. Okay. AI product management. Oh, very cool. Seems like it's about to explode. And more importantly, okay. what you need to know to be ready for it. I like it. We've got a stack of fresh AI industry news and research, so let's just dive in. Okay. Sounds good. So what's fascinating to me is how this is shaking up software development in general. Yeah. Like the whole landscape. Andrew Neng. Oh, yeah. A leading AI expert. For sure. He predicts that the traditional ratio of engineers to product managers might actually flip. Really? Imagine that uh, teams with more product managers than engineers. More PMs than engineers. Yeah. That's a huge change. It is. Why, why is that happening? Because software engineers are rapidly picking up AI skills, yeah. even faster than a lot of product managers are. Interesting. And this is creating a huge opportunity yeah. for those who can bridge that gap. I see. We're talking about like the rise of the AI product manager. Okay, so this isn't just like your typical product manager role. Right. What makes AI product management so different? I think it demands a really unique combination of skills. Okay. First, you need some technical proficiency in AI. Okay. You need to understand what's actually possible to build with AI, and including like data collection model, building the whole process. So AI PMs need to be able to really talk, to, talk with the engineers. Absolutely. Yeah. They also need to be comfortable with a more iterative development process. Okay. AI projects are less about sticking to a strict plan and more about adapting as you go. Got it. Yeah, it's like exploring a winding path. Right. Rather than marching down a straight line. Flexibility is key. Yes. What else sets AI product management apart? Data proficiency is essential. Makes sense. AI is fueled by data. So understanding how to use it effectively is crucial for building successful products. No data, no AI. Exactly. Right. Another critical skill is managing ambiguity. Oh, okay. AI can be unpredictable. Yeah. You need to be okay with that and be able to navigate the unknown. That sounds challenging. It can be. Any other must-have skills for aspiring AI PMs? This one's crucial in the fast-paced world of AI. Wow. Ongoing learning. Right. Staying on top of trends is not optional. It's essential. So for our listeners who are thinking, okay, this AI product management thing sounds interesting. Yeah. What should they be focusing on to kind of get ahead of the curve? Andrew Ng highlights a few key areas. Okay. First, responsible AI implementation. Oh, yeah. You're not just building cool features. Right. You're building products that need safeguards. For sure. To prevent unintended consequences. Yeah. Ethical awareness is paramount. We've all seen enough science fiction to know that AI can go wrong. Exactly. Yeah. You also need fast feedback loops. AI projects require constant input and adjustment. Got it. So mastering those skills is key. So rapid iteration is a recurring theme here. Yeah, for sure. Anything else? This one might surprise you. Okay. The best AI PMs might even be able to build basic prototypes themselves. Really? Not full-blown engineering, right. but enough to quickly test ideas. Wow. So these are PMs who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty with code. Exactly. It's impressive. It's about understanding the technology deeply enough to guide its development. Okay. And speaking of technological advancements, yeah. there's a new development called DeepSeek V3. That's a potential game changer. Okay. Let's unpack this. Okay. What is DeepSeek V3? DeepSeek V3 is an open source large language model that performs incredibly well. Okay. The surprising part is its training cost. Uh -huh. A mere $5.6 million. Wow. That's unheard of for a model of this caliber. Okay. Think of a large language model as a super sophisticated AI that can understand and generate human-like text. And open source means the underlying code is freely available for anyone to use and modify. So if anyone can build a powerful AI model on a shoestring budget, right? what does that mean for AI product managers? Yeah. What kind of amazing products will they be able to create? That's the question everyone is asking. Right. And it's not just about the technology itself. All right. The geopolitical landscape is changing too. In what way? The U.S. is implementing regulations to control access to powerful AI technology. So it's not just what you can build. Right. 
but also where and for whom. Exactly. That adds a whole new layer of complexity for AI PMs. It does. Wow. And it underscores the need to stay informed about these broader trends. Yeah. Because government decisions made today will directly impact the job market of tomorrow. So let's bring this back to our listeners. Okay. What does this mean for them? We're seeing a major shift in the tech landscape. Uh-huh. And with AI becoming more accessible, yeah. opportunities in AI product management are growing rapidly. The question is, are you ready to seize them? That's a great question. Yeah. So it sounds like a pretty demanding job. Yeah. But, you know, high demand usually means high salaries. Usually. Right. What can someone realistically expect to earn as an AI product manager? It's a good question. Yeah. Salary data for this specific niche is still emerging, yeah. but considering the current trends and the required skills, yeah. it's safe to say that AI PMs are in a good position to command high salaries. Okay, but can we get a bit more specific? Sure. Are we talking six figures, multiple six figures? I think, uh, yeah. think of it this way. Traditional software PMs, yeah. they're already earning well into six figures, right. often with stock options and bonuses on top of that. Yeah, that's pretty standard in the tech industry. Exactly. Yeah. Now add in the specialized AI skills, right. the strategic thinking, right. the ethical considerations, mm. the potential impact these products can have. Yeah. It's reasonable to expect that salaries will be significantly higher than those of traditional PM roles. So potentially multiple six figures. Yeah. Maybe even pushing seven figures for the top performers. Yeah. It's definitely within the realm of possibility. Wow. Especially as the demand for AI PMs continues to outpace the supply. That's a pretty compelling reason for anyone considering a career shift. Yeah. Let's say someone is listening right now. Yeah. And they're thinking, okay, I'm intrigued. This sounds amazing. Okay. But how do I actually prepare for a career in AI product management. Yeah. Where do they even begin? That's the key question. Yeah. And the good news is there are several paths you can take. Okay. First, if you already have a solid background in traditional product management, okay. focus on building your AI expertise. So take some courses, read up on the latest developments. Yes. Maybe even experiment with building some basic AI models. Exactly. Okay. There are tons of online resources, boot camps, and yeah. even master's programs specifically mm. focused on AI. Don't hesitate to get hands-on with the technology. Yeah. The more comfortable you are with the technical side, uh -huh. the better you'll be able to communicate with the engineer and translate those complex concepts right. into actionable product plans. What about people coming from a more technical background? Sure. Maybe a software engineer or or data scientists yeah. looking to move into a more product-focused role? For those individuals, the focus should be on developing core product management skills. Okay. Understanding user needs. Right. Conducting market research. Uh -huh. Prioritizing features, okay. creating roadmaps, yeah. and effectively communicating with stakeholders. So it's about bridging that gap between the technical and the strategic. Precisely. Okay. And don't underestimate the importance of those all-important soft skills. Yeah. Communication, collaboration, and problem solving are essential. For sure. For any successful product manager, AI or otherwise. It sounds like being an AI product manager is more than just a job. It is. It's a way the, of thinking. Yeah. You need that blend of technical understanding, right. business acumen, mm -hmm. and that ability to anticipate what's coming next. It's about being comfortable with constant change right? and embracing the ambiguity that comes with working on the cutting edge of technology. Now, for our listeners who are ready to take the plunge, okay, what's the single most important piece of advice you can give them? I would say start exploring. Okay. Dive into the world of AI, get familiar with the tools and resources available, yeah. and don't be afraid to experiment. That's great advice. The best way to learn is by doing. And remember, the future is being built right now. Mm -hmm. You have the potential to be a part of it. You do. Speaking of the future, yeah. we were talking about how the U.S. is trying to control access to powerful AI. Right. What exactly does that mean? And how could it impact aspiring AI product managers? It's a complex issue with several moving parts. Okay. Essentially, the U.S. government is concerned about the potential misuse of powerful AI technology. Yeah, that makes sense. So they're implementing a tiered system of access. Okay. Think of it like different levels of security clearance. So not everyone will have access to the same tools and resources. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The most powerful AI models and data sets will likely be restricted to organizations and individuals okay. who meet certain criteria, uh -huh. such okay. as 
demonstrating a commitment to ethical AI development and usage. That makes sense from a safety and security standpoint. Yeah. But how does this tiered system impact someone who wants to become an AI product manager? It adds a layer of complexity to the job. Okay. For example, if you're working for a company that doesn't have access to the most advanced AI tools, right. you might be limited in terms of what you can build. So it's important to be aware of these regulations yeah. and to choose your employer wisely. Absolutely. Got it. And this also highlights the importance of understanding not just the technical aspects of AI, yeah. but also the policy and regulatory landscape surrounding it. It sounds like AI product management isn't just about building cool products. It's not. It's also about navigating a complex world of regulations. Yes. Ethics and global competition. Exactly. And that's what makes it such an exciting and challenging field. Right. For those who are up for the task, yeah. the rewards can be substantial. Speaking of rewards, okay. let's switch gears and talk about something a bit more tangible. Sure. We touched on NVIDIA's Project Digits earlier. Yes. Could you remind our listeners what that is and why it's significant? Of course, Project Digits is essentially a personal supercomputer. Wow. Designed specifically for running those massive AI models we've been discussing. Hold on, a personal supercomputer. Yeah. So I could potentially be tinkering with these powerful models from my home office. That's the idea, and that's the future that AI PMs will be working in. Wow. It raises some interesting questions, though. Like what? How will this level of accessibility impact AI product development? Yeah. What incredible things will become possible? It's mind-boggling to think about. It is. We're talking about putting the power of AI, which used to be exclusive to massive tech companies and research labs, right. into the hands of individuals. It's a democratization of AI, yeah. and it has the potential to unleash a wave of innovation we've never seen before. It sounds like a very exciting time to be involved in AI. It is. But with all this talk about powerful AI models and supercomputers, it's easy to get lost in the technical details. It is. Let's bring it back to the human element for a moment. Sure. What are some of the key qualities that make someone a truly exceptional AI product manager? That's a great question. Yeah. Beyond the technical skills we've discussed, uh -huh. there are a few essential qualities that set the best AI PMs apart. Okay. First and foremost, they have an insatiable curiosity. Curiosity. Yeah. Why is that so important? Because the world of AI is constantly evolving. Right. You need to be eager to learn new things. Okay. To stay ahead of the curve, to explore the uncharted territories of this technology. So it's not just about knowing what's possible today. Yeah. It's about anticipating what will be possible tomorrow. Exactly. Okay. And that leads to another crucial quality. Okay. Vision. Oh, interesting. The best AI PMs don't just see the technology as it is. Yeah. They see its potential. Mm -hmm. They imagine how it can be used to solve problems and create value in ways that haven't been done before. They're like the architects of the AI future. That's a great way to put it. Wow. They need to be able to see the big picture to connect the dots, yeah. to understand how AI fits into the broader context of business, society, and even humanity. So it's not just about building products. It's about building a better future. Exactly. Yeah. And that brings us to another key quality. Okay, empathy. Empathy. Yes. Why is empathy so important when you're dealing with technology? Because AI products are ultimately meant to serve people. Okay. If you don't understand the people you're building for. You're likely to build products that miss the mark. So it's not just about the algorithms and the data. It's about the human heart. That's a beautiful way to put it. Wow. The best AI PMs blend technical brilliance with human understanding. Yeah. They see the power of AI. Yeah. But they never lose sight of the people it's meant to serve. It sounds like AI product management is as much an art as it is a science. Absolutely. And that's what makes it such a fascinating and rewarding field. Right. It's where technology meets humanity. Yeah. Where innovation meets empathy. Wow. Where the future is being shaped. Yeah. It really feels like we're on the edge of something huge. Yeah. Like maybe the early days of the internet or the smartphone. Right. You know, just that explosion. Uh -huh. There's that same energy and excitement. I agree. But also some uncertainty about what the future holds. Yeah, for sure. It's a great comparison. Yeah. And, you know, during those earlier tech booms, uh -huh. it wasn't just the engineers who thrived. Right. It was the people who could grasp the technology, see its potential, yeah. and translate that into products and services that people actually wanted. I agree. Exactly. And that's where the AI product manager comes in. Yeah. 
they bridge that complex world of AI with the everyday lives of users. Yeah, they're the ones who will shape how this technology impacts our world. Right. It's a lot of responsibility. For sure. But also a huge opportunity. So if you're listening yeah. and you're feeling that spark of interest, mm. that pull toward this exciting new field, okay. don't ignore it. Yeah. What's the first step someone should take? I, I, if they're serious about pursuing a career in AI product management. Start by immersing yourself in the world of AI. Okay. Familiarize yourself with the core concepts, okay. the different types of AI, mm -hmm. and the tools and technologies used to build AI products. Are there any specific resources or learning paths you would recommend? Absolutely. There are fantastic online courses and resources available on platforms like Coursera EDX and Udacity. Oh, yeah, for sure. You can also explore boot camps that offer intensive hands-on training in AI product development. Okay. And for those who want to dive deeper, hmm. there are master's programs specifically designed for aspiring AI product managers. So it sounds like there's a learning path for everyone. There is. Regardless of background or experience level. Exactly what matters most is a willingness to learn to experiment. Right. And to embrace the ever-evolving nature of AI. And it's important to remember that even if you don't end up becoming an AI product manager, yeah. this knowledge is incredibly valuable in today's world. Yeah, it is. AI is touching nearly every industry. That's so true. Understanding the fundamentals of AI, its capabilities, and its limitations right. is essential for anyone who wants to thrive in the 21st century workforce. So as we wrap up this deep dive, what's the most important message you want to leave our listeners with? The future of AI is being written right now. You have the opportunity to be a part of it. That's a good one. Whether you choose to pursue a career in AI product management uh -huh. or simply deepen your understanding of this transformative technology. Huh. Now is the time to get involved. So keep learning, keep exploring, and keep asking those important questions. I agree. That's what this deep dive has been all about. It has. And who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one building the next game-changing AI product that makes a real difference in the world. Maybe.